So the latest version of Evolution XOS brings you some great new changes. For example, some new spoofing options, some new UI changes are in few of the extra features are included in this update. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Stay tuned and I will talk about all the new changes available here. The first one is the version of course, the version is 8.3 and it is having the latest security patch of February 2024 and it, it, it is one of those custom which brings you new update almost every month and also very quickly. We have some new changes included in this updated space on Android 14 and let's find out the changes here. The first one is if we move on to the evolver or customization section in miscellaneous, you will find some great spoofing options. For example, you can see enable pixel props spoof as pixel 8 pro and one of the main highlights is enable circle to search the latest galaxy AI feature where you can use circle to search and let me tell you one thing that it's actually not working at least in my case. Maybe you need a specific Google app of course you need some spoofing extra spoofing options some modules to enable this option perfectly fine. I will think about it and I will try to let you know I will give you the hints and issues of which I am facing and etc etc everything what information you need for the spoofing options will let you know later on but for now the things which are included here the spoofing options are so good many spoofing options are added into this build so yes make sure to check out them. One more thing is actually one of the most awaited things at least for me because I love that feature and that is the Volti icon in the status bar. So we finally have the option for Volti Bo Wi-Fi icon. It was already available in some previous updates. It's been some time but after some time this, this thing was removed because of the quick settings panel was lagging a lot according to some but I'm not exactly sure but now it's finally back so let's see how much time it will stay or will it be gone in the next update but for now this is available here so that's good in the latest 8.3 you have the Volti Bo Wi-Fi icon customizations. If you move on to the other options here you also have the alarm blocker which was not available previously it's added in this update some of the features might be added in your update already but most of the features are actually available in 8.3. Same thing is with the wake lock blocker. So alarm blocker, wake lock blocker, I remember I was using these features in Android 6, Android 7, Android 8 times approximately 6 to 7 years ago. New things are not there but yes, good options. For example, we also have the pixel launcher. There is no nothing about the launcher here for example the quick step launcher, the launcher 3 it's not there it's still pixel launcher no issues in the pixel launcher at all but in case you want to change this to evolution x launcher you can do so by installing a magic module but not by default the quick settings panel is also kind of same here we are having the dark quick settings panel it's not in the light shade also have some improvements in the island notifications as you can see i think so the menu is now at least rebuilded or fixed here you have the option to choose enable this island notification i used island notification and it's a little bit better than reticker because in reticker the things are a bit changed here. island notification is if you hold there you can expand the notification if you click there you can pick up the call some things are like that and i think island notification is now becoming quite better as compared to the reticker notification we also have the application downgrade option available which you can also enable with the help of some extra things but it's available by default in this custom room so that's good including that the per app volume control option is so useful it's already present here including this one we have same kind of options available there like lock screen has the edge lighting lock screen has a ripple effect option fingerprint animation and the theming status bar quick settings panel almost similar customizations which are available in the previous update are already present here you can also customize some fonts and icon packs brightness sliders signal icons in the terms of theming there are many options available for you quick settings also have some header images you already saw that i have enabled the header images there are many header images already available you can choose a specific image in a quick settings header and you can also customize the size and opacity etc for that brightness slider kind of same no extra things if you need more customizations try out many other custom rooms one more thing is in the security and privacy section that you have one thing like hide developer status that's so good this is available there most of the people don't talk about it but that's actually so useful so in case you want to use this feature it's available in the security and privacy section these were the things i just wanted to let you know link for this build is already available in the description make sure to check it out thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one until then goodbye